Hey Empress, hey Empresses, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Y'all, before we begin, I just want to say I thank you. We did it. We hit 10K. You, me, and Father God, we did it. Father God got us going all the way up. I just want to say I thank you. Thank you for the love. Thank you for all the encouragement. Thank you for the support. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. And I'm sending y'all an abundance of peace, love, and light always. Before we begin, I only have one YouTube page, y'all, <laughs> and one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dream. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin, Gemini. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and cover the viewers, the Geminis that have clicked on this video today. What other messages today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Gemini need to know about what's going on with them and about what's coming in? There you go, Gemini, air signs. You could be talking to another Gemini, okay? This could be um, a Libra around you or an Aquarius, okay? So you're definitely in your energy. It's about your communication, letting things flow, going with the flow, air energy, okay? I'm also seeing here, yes. Yeah, so you have a choice in a situation. Don't let somebody make you feel like you don't have a choice or, you know, make you feel like guilt trip you or make you feel like you are forced to go down one situation or one pathway because you're not. You have a choice. God is showing you. God is going to be illuminating your path. Okay, different paths that you're going to be able to take or that you have an option to take. Yeah, one of these paths is leading you towards a spiritual partnership. Ooh. Yeah, justice is yours. This is karma. Justice is yours. Good karma is coming in. Number 11 could be significant as well. Yeah, it's about you healing. There could be a focal point around you healing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's happening in this season. We're in Libra season right now. So this is happening. Something can be dealing. You could be dealing with like a court issue, a court case. Things are going to be working out in your favor. Things will be fair. Things will be balanced with justice being here. Okay, things will be wrapping up. It's like things will be working out for you or going the way that they're supposed to. This could definitely be happening between now and Scorpio season. So October into November. Okay. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your birth chart. I'm seeing here or Sagittarius. Okay, with temperance. It's something about you healing peace, bringing balance, restoration, restoration back into your life. Definitely Sagittarius energy. And Earth is here too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's something about you grounding your energy as well, Gemini. Okay, you could be doing the shadow work at this time. You're also taking action, trusting your intuition, going after your passion, setting your sights high, your visions high. Okay, really going after things that you want at this time with the Sagittarius and the Scorpio energy. It's like you're bringing off a fearless energy. You're a go-getter. You're a warrior. You went through a lot. And it's like you overcome a lot of things that you may not even let people know. Okay, but you are you're overcoming it. I'm seeing here with crush. Somebody is sad. This, I hope this is in your energy, Gemini. Somebody here is feeling sad, broken, feeling alone, upset. This is about. Yeah, so at this time, it's like you're writing things down. Hmm. You guys could be writing things down. You guys could have a diary or you're just keeping notes, keeping tabs. Or there's someone here that's trying to keep tabs of you. I'm seeing here, oh, man. And it's because their emotions. Somebody here is really feeling their emotions about you. Wow, yeah. Someone here could be pregnant. You could be pregnant. Or there's someone here that's trying to play on your heartstrings. They want, they want you to feel their energy. Somebody here wants you to come back towards them. Yeah, they know. This is someone that's in denial. They don't have good reasoning at this time. They're not facing the truth of the situation. They're not even trusting their own intuition or judgment. Somebody here is a forbidden love to you. You may have realized this. It's like the love is toxic. It's not real. It's unrequited. But they feel like they can't get enough of you. They feel like you, 
they want they have an unquenchable thirst and it's like this can even be in regards to like passion they're not getting fulfilled with anybody else but something here isn't it isn't healthy for you it's not aligned with you this could even be you in denial you could be writing things down like really trying to rationalize with yourself you may know somebody is not really the best option for you or isn't good for you somebody here manipulates you they lie to you they deceive you yeah you could be making a choice right now to just focus on you, Gemini. Nine of Pentacles, think being single, being independent, being self-sufficient, taking care of you. Being divine in your own right, pouring from your own cup, letting Father God pour into you. This is you getting like fulfillment from up above instead of validation from people around you. This is you getting validation. You giving validation to yourself and you getting it from up above, which is the best validation of all. You making Father God proud. You making you proud, which is bringing in blessings. Okay, this is like you taking care of yourself. This is you living a very abundant, freeing type of life, a very blessed, a very blessed and protected life. Okay. This is blessings coming in. This is overflow coming in for you, Gemini. Yeah, everything is good. I cannot make it oh everything is good somebody here thought that they had you like they counted you out too quickly i'm hearing somebody here counted you out they were trying to like they were somebody celebrated too quickly okay they didn't know who you were they didn't know who you are they didn't know how your angels and your ancestors like flow they don't know they didn't know you have riches coming in. You have blessings coming in. You have a divine blessing, a prayer that's getting ready to be answered. You about to be sitting on your high horse if you aren't already. Mm -hmm. This is this is blessings coming in. This is you reaping your harvest. This is you having your way. You getting your way in a situation. This is you feeling like you know you on top of it. Okay, this is you getting. You could be getting something that was rightfully like rightfully yours. Somebody was trying to hold something up from you. Yeah, somebody was trying to make it difficult for you to get something and God is getting ready to give it to you because it's it's yours. Yeah, it could have been a fire sign. Somebody was trying to keep something from you. Four of pentacles. Could be a fire sign I was dealing with. For some of y'all, y'all could have been dealing with a um Aries or a Sagittarius. Somebody was trying to keep something from you. This person tried to count you out, put you down. King of Wands. You got the truth about this person. Yeah, now they want to communicate. Yeah, now this person wants to talk to you because you know the truth about them now. Now they want to come towards you to collaborate with you. I wouldn't do it. Gemini, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, they're waiting on doing this. They think you're, somebody here thinks you're foolish. You're naive. You're careless. You're going to take this leap of faith. You're not. You need to block this person. Yeah, somebody here is going to try to butter you up. This could be a fire sign. This could be someone that you already have like an emotional like attachment to or you could have had an intimate relationship with this person. If this isn't intimate, this could be someone that you just have, you know, you thought it, the love was equal. It could be like a family, a friend. You know, you felt like the love was equal. Don't trust it. Somebody here is waiting on this. They could have betrayed you before. They could have threw swords in your back before and you like overcome what they threw at you. Two, 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 as I said this. Yeah, something about you blocking it. You standing your ground. You're you're standing your ground. You setting boundaries up. You standing on your boundaries with the seven of wands. You have a lot of protection around you, angelic protection around you. Okay, and it's because of something that you're doing that's speaking the truth. You finding out the truth. You getting the clarity that you need in regards to this person, this situation. Yeah, somebody here was going back and forth about you. Somebody here didn't even know about you. They were going back and forth about you. How they felt about you. You could have been going back and forth about this person or these people. Like something made you feel uneasy with the two of pentacles. Yeah, you. If, it, if it's something that like you already like felt uneasy about or you already held back from before, you didn't know, you know, second guess whether or not you should hold back, you should. Okay, yeah, it's some type of collaboration that someone wants to get you in and it's because of your resources, your money. They really want to take from you so that they can give to others with the six of pentacles. Somebody here is trying to use you. Yeah, they're manifesting this. Or right now you're manifesting. Yeah, they want to see what you're manifesting. They want to see what's coming towards you. They know it's something that you're doing. They feel like, yeah, these people or this person is coming in. It's up to like three people. I'm seeing with this three of pentacles. It could be like a group of people that's talking about how they're going to work together with you. Or this person could have like hooked up with different people. And now they're all talking about how they're going to like get together with you, use you collaborate with you, network with you. What's this three of pentacles? They want to do this. Yeah, because of who you are, the queen of pentacles. 
Some for some of y'all, this is someone that sees themselves as like your person. Okay, but they're deceptive with the seven of swords. They not to be trusted. This is not somebody that's loyal or honest. They could be coming across as your counterpart, though. This could be another earth sign, or they feel like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. For some of y'all, this person could have like teamed up with someone here that they may be with. And it's like these people need each other for resources. For other of you guys, these people are like teaming up because they see you as someone who is very like financially blessed, very wealthy. Okay. And someone here in particular, it could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. This person is very logical based. They could be like very driven as well. They can even be a business owner. They feel like teaming up with you will like make them a wealthy man, make them a wealthy person. Four for four, as I said this, you have a lot of protection. It's like your intuition could be telling you about this. This person is deceptive. They're a liar. They're a sneak. They're a snake. They're slimy. They're not to be trusted. They want to just screw you. They, it's like somebody here wants to get you in the bedroom so that you become goo goo gaga and you make them like your person, your counterpart. You set them up in life, especially financially. Somebody here is trying to do this. They're trying to use you for this, Gemini. Be mindful of that. Right now you're manifesting. Virgo energy, you have all the, all the tools to the kingdom. And this... It's like you have people or someone from afar with the page of swords that's talking about you from a distance. They're watching you from a distance and they're trying to figure out, like, how are you getting your way? What are you manifesting at this time? What are you working on? OK, what are you so focused on? Yeah, it's people that you. These are people I keep saying people because I'm picking up on like people, but these are toxic people. These are toxic connections, toxic soul ties, toxic bonds, toxic family ties. This is just toxic. It doesn't serve you. These people are like being ruled by lower vibrational energies, lust, temptation, greed, envy, hate. They don't have like any self-discipline, self self-control, self-guidance. What's the three of cups? These people, yeah, you need to hold back from them. The strength card, your intuition is telling you hold back. Don't give. Don't go towards it. It's not for you. Don't do it, Gemini. If something is like screaming at you, especially it's not making you feel like at a place of feeling safe, don't do it. You already beat these individuals in different ways, especially spiritually. You're intu like you're very intuitive. You're very empathic. You could be a seer, a reader very spiritually gifted, very close to Father God. It's like somebody here knows this or these people know this and they want to try to come back towards you acting like everything's all good in the neighborhood with the three of cups. They got ill motives, ill agendas, hidden motives. It's not, it's mm -mm. not everything is what it appears to be. I'm picking up on like that moon energy. Not everything is what it appears to be. And it has to do with your financial security, how blessed you are, how favorable you are, how much, like how you're, how, how you're doing this thing by yourself. You could have an empire. You could be a business owner. Or you're just living a life that people are seeing like you're very wealthy. You're very rich. You don't want to be rich. You want to be wealthy. But people could think like you're, you're wealthy. You got it going on. You don't want a need for a dollar. Queen of Pentacles, male or female. You are adorning yourself. You wear nice jewelry. You wear nice clothes. You look like you smell good. You, you take good care of yourself. You're also, your intuition don't play. Father God doesn't play about you, your discernment, your intuition has been strengthened so that you can literally hold back and see the truth about these like facade group of people. This could even be someone that wants to reconcile with you. It could be a fire sign, it doesn't have to be, or someone that's like a very passionate, they like to get their way. They like to like, they're like a, um, this could even be a boss or someone that likes to like bombard, what is it, bombard people to make, like force people against their will. Somebody here wants you to like, Submit to them in different ways. This can even be a group of people for some of y'all. I hope this helped you. Don't do it, Gemini. You already overcame it. You already overcome. Like you're overcoming this now. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with this now. But for some of y'all, you already spoke this. The truth came out about this. You already beat this. But it's like coming back around. It's like somebody here wants to, with the eight of pentacles being right here, it's like they want to see if they could do it again. Put in the work to do it again because you have blessings coming in. Don't do it. I hope this helped you. May peace and blessings be to you always. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I will be seeing you on the next video.